ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀನಾಥ ಸಂಭ ನಾಥಯಾಮು ನ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ರಾಸಿಕ್ಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಥಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ಫ್ಯಾಥಮಬಲ್ ಓಷನ್ ದಿ ಓಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ವಿ ಅಮ್ಮಾಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ to the compositions of Shri Purandar Dasar. Shri Purandar Dasar has, has sung lyrics, given us songs with the most unimaginable situations. You cannot even think that that could be a song. That would have been a song of Purandar Dasar explaining the most un-understandable concepts in simple, digestible words. Today I have chosen yet another song that MLV Amma used to sing. it's of purandara dasar's repertoire whenever i think of this song it reminds me of the shrimad ramayana ravana had abducted sitamma and it was against her consent so vibhishana ravana's younger brother advises him and tells anna send her back with honor but ravana does not pay heed vibhishana tells this in an open assembly but ravana does not pay heed so vibhishana up goes to ravana in person tries to convince him he says anna what you are indulging in is a very heinous act do not do it this will bring destruction doom and downfall don't think rama rama is an ordinary human being do not think low of rama at all this on one side i would also like to talk about one more thing it's about how our faith perceives death anything that is born something that takes a body with the five elements of nature composing into the body has to die the soul has to cast off this body and proceed towards whatever has to happen to it next this is how our faith looks at it sanatana dharma so when a body is dying when when the soul is casting off a, a body the deity associated with death is yama dharma thanks to some media houses yama is portrayed as an evil heartless person that is not the case life and death it's a complete cycle so yama is the deity presiding over death it does not mean yama is evil it does not mean he is bad yama dharma raja in fact as per the kathopanishad was a very learned person he is the one who spoke about learning the supreme person to a young little child called nachiketas brahma gnanam brahma vicharam is done by yama to nachiketas so yama was a gnani yama dharma raja but death downfall and doom these are associated with one another in certain situations that we agree so in such a case in that context yama is used synonymously with doom downfall and destruction here in the situation we started with vibhishana warns cautions ravana and tells anna if you indulge in this heinous act of misbehaving with women you will walk into your own doom ravana tells there is no doom for me where do i see yama where do i see destruction and that is when vibhishna says yamanelli kaane nindu hela beda yamane shri ramanu sandeha beda set to shivaranjani raga this devarnama reminds me of that conversation between ravana and his younger brother advising him vibhishna advises in beautiful words so this devarnama reminds me of that conversation yamanelli kaane nindu hela beda don't ever say you have no death no destruction and with this pretext go on indulging in adharma unrighteous heinous acts because that lord who is ever compassionate can come and punish you yamane shri ramanu ramo vigrahavan dharma hai it is said rama is for the personification of all the great righteous qualities we can talk of he is the very embodiment he is the very embodiment of compassion but he can bring doom and destruction to those who are treading off the dharma marga those who move away from dharma ravana was the finest example 
those who believe in dharma and practice it they are always protected nambida vibhishanage ramanatha vibhishana believed in dharma he relinquishes company of his elder brother ravana because ravana did not tread on the path of righteousness so vibhishana could see rama in the same person rama could show compassion to vibhishana but this ravana did not tread on the marga of dharma and that is why rama becomes doomed to ravana nambadita ravana ge yamanada nambida arjuna ge mitranada arjuna believed in dharma and that is why he found a, a, a best friend mitra in krishna but duryodhana did not believe in that he believed in hypocrisy he believed in cheating he he believed in humiliating women that is what he did to draupadi nambadidda duryodhana ge mrityuvada he met his own downfall and destruction he died pathetically because of his karma because of what wrong deeds he indulged in throughout so nambadidda one who did not believe in dharma one who did not practice dharma and went on accumulating sins by way of heinous acts for him that same lord that same krishna brought doom nambida prahladanige hariyada hari nrsimha perumal swami nrsimha he came out of the pillar he sprang out of the pillar for the belief of that young little small little child prahlada whereas the father of prahlada nambaditta hiranyakage huriyada hiranyakashipu did not believe in dharma he did not believe in dharma he wanted to bring down everybody who did not practice what he said who did not follow his orders he was he was a totalitarian he was he tried to become the absolute leader and that in turn brought down fall to him because he didn't believe in the dharma and khuri look at the words the way dasar plays with the words nambida prahlada ge hariyada nambadidda hiranyaka ge khuriyada he came as narasimha for prahlada who believed and he came as doom the synonym for doom in kannada here is khuri he brought the destruction and doom of hiranyaka hiranyakashipu because he continuously practiced adharma nambida ukrasenage bhrityanada ukrasena was a righteous person he was a great righteous king krishna is born the grandson of ukrasena and he becomes the kitten kin krishna the supreme lord becomes the kitten kin of ukrasena but kamsa continuously treads an adharma marga and hence nambadidda kamsanige mrityuvada nambi kulli pe gashi krishna devana trust this krishna trust this lord who is the very embodiment of dharma and practice it kumbhu chakradhari shri purandara vidhala yamanelli kaane nindu so dasar explains that the lord is not different from dharma believing the lord is as good as believing in dharma one who is a theist one who believes in god should continuously tread on what is prescribed by faith what is prescribed by dharma continuously practice practice righteousness and beget goodness to him and everyone else this song is famously rendered by mlv amma so i was listening to this on the internet and i was scrolling down uh, the comment section because comments for a video are very interesting for a carnatic video particularly because uh, they explain so many things that we might tend to miss it happened to me too i was scrolling down and i read a comment that said did you realize that there is no mridanga for this entire rendition so i just rushed back i played the video again and i realized it was only mlv amma's voice 
accompanied by her disciple with the violin. So there was no mridanga. Her voice was so complimenting. Her voice so, was so complete. The music was so complete. You did not realize that an important tala vadya, an important laya vadya was missing because her voice could complete her music. That beautiful rendition. Unfortunately, that version is not available. If you find it, please go listen to it. But it's not available on the internet. So I have attached another rendition of the great MLB Amma for this song. Do go back, enjoy it. Unfortunately, not many of the present day artists sing this, but it's okay. Thanks to technology, we can go back and enjoy drown in this musical bliss. I will be back with another episode with another song to enjoy. Until then, this is your host Ashit signing off. Jai Shri Krishna.